Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer and welcome to Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents, which is under the umbrella of my blog, Good Parenting Brighter Children. And just a note here, if you are enjoying these videos each day, you may want to subscribe to my YouTube channel or you may want to go on my blog and sign up for my emails. And I send out an email once every two weeks about the latest and greatest that I'm doing on the blog. Right now I'm doing a series of how-tos, different things that you can do with your children and with your grandchildren. And this is the perfect segue into what I'm talking about today, which is how to build the perfect grandparent-grandchild bond. Oftentimes parents get so busy that it's really hard to do all of the things that they want to do for their children and with their children. That's where grandparents come in at. They can help with that. And at the same time, what they're doing is they're building the perfect and the most incredible relationship with their grandchildren. And if you talk to any grandparent today, they love the role that they play as grandparents to their grandchildren. If you're having your uh, grandchildren over, if you live close by with your grandchildren, you're one lucky grandparent. Uh, we have some of our grandchildren close by, but most of them are not. And so it's wonderful to be able to get together. And so if you're going to, what you want to do is plan and uh, prepare and execute whatever activity that you're planning. Do things that are fun. Do things that perhaps their parents didn't have time to do that week. Maybe they didn't have time to read a book to them or take them on a walk or take them to the park or listen to them uh, about school or all of those different things. Another really fun thing that grandparents usually like to do with their grandkids is teach them how to cook, teach them how to bake. I have a friend who when her grandkids come for the summer to visit, they turn their whole entire kitchen into a wonderful baking and cooking session as they as they teach their grandchildren about how to use different how to learn about different fractions as they are cooking and baking, which is always a fun thing. Go on different kind of family vacations. If you're invited to go with them, by all means, go on different family vacations. Now, and have your own uh, t uh, grandchildren teach you something. If there's something about the internet or social media that you would like to learn, go to your grandchildren and have them teach you. They usually know it better than anybody. There are different ways that you can keep in touch with grandchildren that are far away. You can email them, but most kids uh, nowadays, they don't necessarily go to their emails. But a big way of keeping in touch with them is through texting. It doesn't have to be a really long text. Maybe you can just text them to let them know how much you love them each day and that you're thinking about them. Or if you know that they're going in, they're in high school or junior high school or middle school and they're going in for a big test, send them a little text their way and tell them that you're thinking about them and that you know that they'll do a great job. You can also follow them on Instagram or on Twitter or on Facebook and there's all of those incredible social media platforms that they go to and that they're a part of. Find out which one that they are most interested in and you follow them on that one. And that is another way that you can keep in touch with them. Even picking up the phone is a great way of uh, lessening those miles between you and your grandchild and ask them and talk to them. One of my grandchildren, she really loves to write and so she sends me all of her, the different writing things that she's doing. She's doing a little novel right now and a little short story. So she sends me those and I read them and I comment on them and I send them back to her. Any little way that you can figure out that you can form this wonderful and close bond with your grandchildren, you will never regret it. I have a friend also that every single summer since her grandchildren were very young, uh, they all pretty much live outside of where they live and so they bring them in, they fly them in and they spend one week with grandma and grandpa alone doing all kinds of activities that she's planned, prepared and now she's executing. Now most of her grandchildren are adults in college and in high school and she and her husband have the most amazing tight bond with their grandchildren. But you know what? The same type of time and energy that you put forth in developing a relationship with your children is the same type of energy that you have to put forth in developing a relationship with your grandchildren. Do it because it will pay you huge dividends. Here's the quote that I want to leave with you by Rudy Giuliani. He said, what children need most are the essentials that grandparents provide in abundance. They give unconditional love, kindness, patience, humor, comfort, and lessons in life, and most importantly, cookies. 
If you want to get my amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe, go on my blog, uh, follow the link in this in the comments section below. This is a recipe that I've made with my grandkids. It's amazing. I give it uh, not only for if you're at sea level, but also we were at sea level and my chocolate chip cookies turned out perfect. They looked like cookies from the bakery and then we moved up 5,000 feet in the air. So we're at high elevation now and it took me a year playing around with that recipe before they are just as perfect now as they were when we were living in California. So you get two uh, just by going to that, that particular blog. And your grandkids will love it. I made uh, those cookies for my students. They still talk about them. I made those cookies not only with my kids as well. Their friends still talk about them. You want that recipe. It's pretty amazing. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.